So let's look at some configuration settings, further configuration settings for profitability analysis. So we have seen some structures, we have seen some characteristics and values. We don't, we're not going to do any planning. Now let's look at flows of actual values. So how the actual values are flowing into the COPA segments. So initial steps, we just briefly went, we defined some number ranges. You can create your own characteristics groups. For example, I can define a few characteristics and create them as one group. Now let's quickly see that. Maintain characteristic groups. It's going to execute the transaction. Specify my operating concern. Mine is account based. Press OK. Let that come out. Now here you can see characteristic group. There's nothing in here. So I'm just going to click on new entries. So here I'm going to say screen. How many text can I put? Or oh, just only four characters. Okay, so I'm just going to put SCR1 screen for data entry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a characteristic group where this characteristic group called SCR1 and define the characteristics or insert the characteristics inside this group. So when the users are going to enter manual expenses or any manual type of revenues, when they have to specify the profitability segments, they only have to go and enter for three or four characteristics. Rest all should be derived or it will not get filled up. So we'll just do that setting. So I have defined a characteristic group over here. Now let me click on characteristics. So let me select this, double click that. Here it is. Now we can click on new entries. Okay, row one, row two, row three, three rows. First field should come is, now I can select the character which I want. I'm going to put brand. Next row, what do I want to analyze? Probably industry. Do I have industry? Here it is, industry. Third row, I'll just probably put country. So here I'm mentioning each row, what the first characteristic should be. Each, the first row that means the first characteristic should be brand, then industry, then country. And entry status, field ready for input or required entry. Now I can make the user mandatory, they, they have to enter or they can make it uh, optional or not required. So I'm just going to put field ready for input so you don't have to make it mandatory. But as a best practice, we'll inform the user that they have to go and enter the information. Press enter. You can see now it's getting filled up over here. Saved. So this is just like creating a cost center group or a cost element group, what you used to do it previously. But the way you do it is slightly different. You define the characteristics group in the screen. Then you go into this tab and enter the uh, characteristics which you want. And you mentioned which is going to be first row, second row, and third row. Now I'm just going to go back, back again back once more okay now we can see assign characteristics groups for assignment screen and assign characteristics groups for line items screen so you can see they have given some transaction code so kepa ke4g i'm not sure this is actual transaction code or not so let's go and do this we'll assign this characteristics group for these assignment screens just click on that and here you can see for this type of business transactions I can mention, okay, you enter this characteristic group. Here you can see now actual settlement, plan settlement, FI postings, travel expenses. For example, if you have any travel expenses postings, so ensure that they fill up those three characteristics. Or well, then you have so many other information coming up, goods movement, sales, all these things are there. So for now, I'm just going to leave this blank because I don't show what type of expenses are going to come up. So I need, I don't, I don't want the users to only go and enter a few characteristics. So I'll leave this. But what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll see the line item screens, I'll go and enter. Oh, so it's only available for costing base. So I probably have to go here and do it again. Go there. Let me just do for my FI1. FI postings, okay. Any, so FI postings is all your FB transaction, FB01, FB50, FB60. I just created one characteristic group. Let me just assign it over here. Okay, and you can see how the entry will look like. Just click on that. It will look like this brand, industry, country. Just three entries only. They need to fill up. Okay, and you can put more other transactions also if you want them to only enter those characteristics. So it's defined into characteristic group, and we can mention that group. You can create multiple characteristics groups also, and for each type of transaction also, you can mention what group should be there. But if you don't mention, then all the characteristics will be applied. Now here, specifically for FI postings, I have mentioned screen one as a characteristics group. 
and save and just go back.